The champion of the world is now in the ring. Muhammad Ali makes his way across to say hello to the champion. And now he comes around to say hello to Larry Holmes. Fantastic shape. At 38 years old, he came in at 225 and three quarters. Tyson was expected to weigh around 220, came in at 215 and three quarters. Of course, Tyson being the most menacing heavyweight we've seen in a long, long time since perhaps Sonny Liston or Joe Frazier. In fantastic shape, ready to go. This fight is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the WBC, the WBA, and the International Boxing Federation. And we'll have the 10-point must scoring system, meaning that the winner of the round will get 10 points, the loser at nine or less. The three knockdown rule, which is usually in effect here in the state of New Jersey, has been waived for this title fight. A fighter must get up following a low blow, or he may be counted out. Once he gets up, it's up to the referee's discretion as to how long of a rest period the injured fighter will receive. There's no mandatory aid count following knockdowns for this fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the final round, when of course the bell signifies the end of the match. That's the setup, and once again, we welcome some 70 countries around the world watching this fight. And in spite of the fact we're on the East Coast for this one in Atlantic City, where they have hosted us just marvelously well here, Donald Trump and his entire staff. Again, right let's get ready for this big one. Welcome to Heavyweight History here in Convention Hall in Atlantic City. Now before the official introduction, I would like to acknowledge a man here in the ring who is indeed a man of heavyweight history in 1960. He was an Olympic gold medal champion. In 1964, he became the heavyweight champion of the world. In 1974, he again won the heavyweight title. And in 1978, he became the only man in heavyweight history to win three world championships. Ladies and gentlemen, the former three-time heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad. and the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino present Heavyweight History. This bout is presented in association with the undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser. It is sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard, Chairman Jerry Gormley, Deputy Commissioners Nick D. Balistrari and Lawrence Wallace, representing the World Boxing Council, its President Jose Suleiman and ringside supervisor Dwayne Ford. Here for the World Boxing Association, Legal Counsel, James J. Bins, Esquire. The three judges doing the scoring for this contest. Rudy Ortega, Nicasio Drake, and Charlie Spina. The timekeeper is Lindsey Tucker, counting for the knockdown seconds, Frank Cappuccino. Chief ringside position, Dr. Frank B. Doggett. Also in attendance, Dr. Charles Wilson and Dr. Stanley Eddin. And the referee for this foul is Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the white trunks with red trim and weighs 225 and 3 quarter pounds. From Easton, Pennsylvania, his professional record, 48 victories, only two defeats. 34 KOs for seven and a half years. He ruled the division as an undefeated champion with 20 successful defenses. Tonight, he's the challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the man known as the Eastern Assassin, former heavyweight champion of the world, 
Larry Holmes! And in the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks, weighing 215 and three quarter pounds, from Catskill, New York, which is the home, hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato. His professional record, a perfect 32-0, 28 KOs, 23 KOs in four rounds or less, and 16 knockouts in the first round. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Championship of the world. Tyson quickly on top of Holmes and he nails him right away. Larry ties him up. Now the big question, will Larry try to box him? Can that left jab keep him away? So far Tyson is coming through it. Larry trying to keep it in his face. Larry almost looking awkward as he lunged forward with the left hand, trying to keep it in the face, looking almost Certainly very, very cautious with Tyson. Ties Tyson up. We expect to see a lot of this throughout the fight. Tyson showing no respect so far, boring in the way he always does. Larry not on offense at all so far. He's been strictly a defensive fighter in this the first round. Looking as though he's trying to survive this first round. Mike Tyson fighting as he has fought every other fight. Just attacking his opponent from the opening bell. Larry looking almost slow with that right, slow right hand went over the head of Mike Tyson. Of course, this is the way you would expect to see Larry fight him and wonder if it will frustrate the younger Mike Tyson. Tyson doing a nice job in this big 24-foot ring, cutting Holmes off in the corner. Larry lashes out with that left hand and then ties him up. Larry trying to take advantage of his reach advantage, keeping that left hand in the face of Mike Tyson. Tyson showing no respect for anything that Holmes does as he pours in, leading with the left hand. This is exactly the way to throw Tyson off balance by shifting left and right and left and right. But the big question is how long can Larry Holmes do it? Joe Cortez, the third man in the ring, the referee. Not a flush blow landed thus far in the fight. Larry Holmes really has only thrown about one or two punches so far and missed the first round. Holmes looking almost in fear of Mike Tyson in the first round. Mike not losing his cool. Larry knows all the tricks of the trade. Knows exactly how to tie him up when he gets inside. He's not going to let Mike wail away with him. And from the fights we've seen before, you can't afford to allow Mike Tyson to get loose once you hang on to him because he's vicious with his uppercuts, left and right. Tyson just showing no fear of Holmes. Larry finally goes on offense at the closing bell. It's Tyson's round. This is round two, scheduled for 12. The undisputed heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Mike Tyson attacks Larry Holmes. Holmes tying him up with one hand and both trying to wail with the other hand. Tyson is attacking Holmes the same way he has on every other opponent he's faced. Larry lets a right hand go that catches Tyson. No damage done at all. One of the big questions, if in fact Larry can nail Tyson, we've never seen Tyson hit, so we don't really know how we'll react to it. React to it. The way he's backing up, he's got to do something a little bit more than this if he's going to try to win some rounds here. Hit 
time they traded blows. Larry with a sneaky right, right hand almost caught Mike coming in. All right, break, break out, let it go. Let it go, Larry. 38 years old, Larry Holmes is in magnificent shape. Big question is how long can his legs stay strong? There's a lot of pressure on him constantly in this fight. He has to stay moving and stay moving on those legs away from Mike Tyson. Larry giving plenty of respect to the champion. Larry lets the right hand go, but Mike very slick ducks underneath it. Holmes comes with an uppercut of his own. Thus far in this round, we're at the midway point, a difficult round to score. Holmes looked again almost awkward throwing that right hand. Joe Cortez, the referee, warning both fighters to watch the elbows. Larry just missed him with a right hand and almost nailed him on the chin. Larry got tagged that time, but he's all right. Tyson's blows just look so much heavier than when Larry throws a punch. Larry doing a nice job with the left keeping it in the face, but the old Larry Holmes would have been snapping the left hand off. Instead, Larry's just holding it out, trying to keep Tyson off him, and then trying to land the right of his own. Thus far, he hasn't been able to really land anything. Twenty seconds to go in the second round. All right, Larry, break. Larry, you hold it, Larry. Again, Tyson tries to put the pressure on Larry. Larry knows how to tie him up, and the bell ends round number two. Now, if Larry has come here to survive, it's not going to be much of a fight. Holmes uh, hasn't really opened up yet offensively. He's done a pretty good job defensively, but nonetheless, just based on aggressiveness and effective aggressiveness, you have to give Tyson the first two rounds. And if it continues this way, the same thing that happened in the Bone Crusher Smith fight, as well as the Mitch Blood Green fight, is going to happen in this fight. As we show you a replay, is Tyson boring in. Look at the look on Larry's face. He looks almost in total fear. He's off balance. Larry has got to start mustering some offense. He can't give away these early rounds like this and expect to be fresh at 38 years old as we get into the middle and late rounds. All right, this is round number three. Tyson runs from his stool, attacks Holmes. He's going to keep the pressure on him constantly. At 21 years old, he feels he can wear him down. And just Larry going three minutes for six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds if it goes that far. He's going to run out of gas unless he's in better shape than most people believe he can get his body in. But he's got to start mounting some offense. Through the right hand that time, it hit Mike, but grazed him on the chin. Mike shakes his head no. Mike is showing no respect for Holmes' punching power. Of course, Larry is a guy in his career that won his fights with accumulation of punches. Although he had at one time a wonderful streak of knockout wins, Holmes still won most of his fights by accumulating punches before his knockouts occurred. This is the third round. All right, please. We got to you. Let's go. Get him out. Get him out. Let's go. Larry gets nailed by a crisp left hand as Tyson comes in. And again, Tyson is doing what he was able to do in the first two rounds. And that's just continue to win the round. We're halfway through this, the third round. Mike attacks. Larry has brilliant defense. Mike really hasn't been able to catch him flush yet. Larry tries to do something inside. Mike counters by throwing four or five punches. Mike almost has to reach up 
forget he's 5'11 and a half, Larry's 6'3. Mike's head is right in the face of Holmes. Holmes knows brilliantly how to tie him up. And how frustrating it is. Bring out Cleveland, bring out Cleveland, let's go. Come on, yeah. Larry with that left hand down, and he better not leave it down. He better keep it up in the face of this guy. Now Larry tries to work some uppercuts. This has been more of an aggressive round for Holmes, but not good enough to win the round. Twenty seconds to go, and this is the third round. Now Cortez says to Mike to keep your hands up. Oh, first good right hand landed. That was right at the bell. Okay, all right, okay. You're looking in the corner of Larry Holmes. You hear them talking to him. Watch this. This is the part right at the end of the round. He caught Larry flush that time. Larry able to shake it off and come back with a shot of his own. Now the bell sounds here, and that was a situation which you hear some guys in the background yelling you're a dirty uh, fighter or whatever. Mike, uh, who's had trouble with a bloody nose in training, has a bit of blood trickling from his nose now. But that's not a question of dirty fighting. When you hit the bell and you're in the middle of a combination of punches, you don't stop. So nothing dirty about the fight so far. Well, coming up to round number four, I believe Tyson has won all three of the first three rounds. This is round four. Let's see if Larry can pick up the offense a bit. Larry up on his toes now. This is the way a young Larry Holmes would have fought Mike Tyson. Now Holmes is going maybe going to open up some offense here. The crowd loves to see this. Larry definitely a sentimental favorite. You see that head right in the face of Larry Holmes. Nothing said by Joe Cortez about that. Here's Tyson attacking again. Larry knows exactly how to take away that punching power in tight. Larry has a more confident look on his face now than he had in the first round. Left hook caught him that time though. Can't get too cute with this guy. You've got to keep moving. All right, break, break out, break out, break out. Larry has all the rig savvy that a lot of the fighters that Mike Tyson has faced have not possessed. Tyson boards in, no damage done here at all. He's got that face right in the chin and the cheek of Larry Holmes again. And again, Larry knows how to tie him up. When Larry was up on his toes and sticking and moving with that left hand, that's the way to fight Mike Tyson. But a 38-year-old Larry Holmes cannot continue that round after round. Oh, a big right hand! And down goes the former champion! He was there, right in the button! The count is up to six, seven, and eight. Larry is hurt! I don't know if he's going to be able to survive this round! He's definitely hurt, his legs are gone, and in comes Mike. It was a big right hand. Larry's down again. Down he goes. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. It's up to four and five. His eyes are clear. It's up to seven and eight. He's going to be able to continue. Tyson knows he has him in trouble. It's just a matter of time. Larry will not survive this round. He's trying to fight back with everything he has. He's trying desperately, but this is not the same age man that was able to do it against Ronaldo Spikes. He goes with a big right hand, the left hook, now he stays on his feet, showing tremendous heart. Now with a left hook, Holmes is getting set up for the right hand. Here it comes, the left one come inside, there's the left, there's the right. Now he's ready to go again, he's hit with the left hand. 17 seconds, he may be able to get by the round now. He should be hanging on. Now with the right hand, the left hand. He's going to hang on. And he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. Now he's hurt. It's all over. He is knocked out. He didn't even bother the count. It was a vicious, vicious right hand. It came like a bolt. 
He looked for it, and Larry got hurt. A big right hand ends the career of the former champion of the world. Mike Tyson proved to the world that he certainly is the undisputed heavyweight champion.